Hey, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. Welcome back to our Can I Fly My Drone series. This week, we're going to answer the question, can I fly my drone beyond visual line of sight? So let's take a look. In the drone community, you hear a lot about flying beyond visual line of sight, or BV loss. So what does that really mean, and what can you do or not do? Let's start with part 107.31, visual line of sight aircraft operation. This part states, with vision that is unaided by any device other than corrective lenses, the remote pilot in command, the visual observer, if one is used, and the person manipulating the flight control of the small unmanned aircraft system must be able to see the unmanned aircraft throughout the entire flight. This means that you can't use binoculars or a telephoto lens to comply with the rule, but you can use glasses or contacts if you need them. The rule says that this is required in order to know the unmanned aircraft's location, determine the unmanned aircraft's attitude, altitude, and direction of flight, observe the airspace for other air traffic or hazards, and determine that unmanned aircraft does not endanger the life or property of another. The rule also says this ability must be exercised by either the remote pilot in command and person manipulating the controls or a visual observer through the entire flight. Part 107.33 states that if a VO is used, that person must maintain effective communication with the remote pilot in command at all times and the VO must be able to see the unmanned aircraft so that he or she can scan the airspace for potential hazards and maintain situational awareness. In addition, for those of you that do not have a remote pilot certificate under part 107, you should know that USC 44809, which you're required to comply with, also contains this requirement. 44809 also requires you to follow the safety guidelines of a community-based organization. And these CBOs have this requirement as well. In fact, the FPV Freedom Coalition goes a little further in explaining the visual line of sight requirement. The coalition safety guidelines state to be operating within visual line of sight, either the operator or a visual observer must be able to see the aircraft throughout the entire flight to ensure it does not present a collision hazard to other manned aircraft or persons or property on the ground. The use of a VO is optional, but a VO enables the recreational flyer to look away from the aircraft for extended periods. This speaks to the fact that if you're not using a VO, a visual observer, you don't have to always be looking at the drone. You can look at your screen for short periods of time, but you need to periodically look up and be able to see the drone for situational awareness. However, if you use a VO, you can look away for extended periods and have the, the visual observer be your eyes in the sky while communicating directly with you. They also mention that the use of a VO is necessary if the recreational flyer wants to use first person view or FPV devices. Some of you may be wondering if the new DJI Goggles 3 real view feature allows you to fly FPV without a visual observer. This feature allows you to see outside the goggles through two small cameras and a picture in picture function. I don't actually know the answer to this, but my opinion is that this doesn't satisfy the visual line of sight requirement because this view is through two cameras, which would be considered visual aids. And the clarity is not really good enough to provide real situational awareness. Keep in mind that part 107.31 and 107.33 are waivable regulations. So if you can demonstrate to the FAA how your operation can be conducted safely beyond visual line of sight, you can apply for a waiver under part 107.200. This is done through the FAA's Drone Zone website, and we'll provide a link to a video that we did about waivers. So can you fly your drone beyond visual line of sight? Well, not legally, unless you obtain a waiver. Since everyone's vision is different and flying conditions are always different, there is no standard distance that is within visual line of sight. 
you have to make that assessment when you're flying. And sometimes it can be difficult to see your drone after you look down at your screen, then look back up at the drone. If this happens, try moving the drone around slightly. Sometimes just a little movement will help your eyes locate the drone. If you still can't find it, try using return to home to bring the drone back toward you until you do see it. Your pro tip is to understand the intent of the rule. You need to know where your drone is so that you can tell if there is other air traffic that may create a hazard to you or the other aircraft. And if there's some sort of emergency and you need to take immediate action, you need to be able to see your drone. If you can't see your drone, you won't know what action to take to ensure safety. The FAA is working on a new part 108 that will provide operating requirements for beyond visual line of sight. But until that's published, we have to follow part 107. Let us know if you have a can I fly my drone question so that we can cover it in a future video. Also hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe and notification buttons to be notified of upcoming content. Thanks for watching and from all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying and we'll see you next time.